good afternoon. I just wanted to come live for my supporters for the R. Kelly support team. Just to shout out all of you. Levi for Kelly. Phases the next level. Um, Carolyn. Dr. Rogers. Also like to shout out my girl. Sky Zone. Like to shout out Spit and Fire. Sugar and Spice. T. Stevens. Dana J. All those who are in support of R. Kelly right now, Tracy to the the, the um, view, Tracy view or Tracy, I, I can't get it all right on my tongue because I got so much time to do this video. But I just wanted to come and give you a shout out. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nothing stop you in your movement. Continue to keep pressing for the higher mark for our brother and friend and legendary king of R&B, our brother Robert Sylvester Kelly. Yes, we may not like all the things that he might have done, but you know what, we support his music because in somehow or the other, his music inspired a lot of us in a lot of ways. And to me, it was the playlist to my love story, okay? So I just wanted to just bring that to your attention right now, and I just want to keep, give, keep, keep your head up. And it was something else that had bothered me, um, and I told my sister Sky Zone, this is me, McDaniels. Yes, this is me, KC, in the house. So, in the flesh. Not in the house, but in the flesh. And I just thought I'd just come forward and just say all of this. Um, you know, I love Sharon Wimbush. I mean, she brings some great commentary and everything. But it really disappointed me for her to go and call out on the sisters, Cassandra and Lisa. Whether they are his alleged, are uh, they his biological sisters, but they his sisters in the blood under the blood of Christ. We are all in this movement together, are fighting for righteousness, and we are um, under the throne of Him, of Jesus Christ. So you know, if you know about who Jesus was, then you know what this is all about. It's not just only about R. Kelly. This is about righteousness. So just want to bring that to Miss Wimbush attention. I love you, Sister Wimbush, or whoever you are, Sharon Wimbush. I think you bring some great commentary. But right now, I gotta call you out on this one. You were wrong for um, calling out them sisters like that. You know, whatever problem you got going on with Dana J and with Phases and all them other stuff, leave other people out of that mess. Don't drag everybody into it. You know, we all here for a good cause and want to do something even if it does take a lie to do it. Because that's a lie that got him incarcerated. Not everything everybody was saying that came forward and said he was um, sexually abusing them or taking advantage of them, had them in a sex cult, whatever whatever it was, you know, it was a lie that got him where he was. Lifetime was a lie. The docu-series was a lie, okay? Me Too is a lie. Time's Up is a lie. So, you know, so if they wanted to come forward and say they, they, they his sisters, you know, let them sisters do their thing, all right? Leave that alone, all right? But anyway, I got to go. I'm not supposed to be on this video anyway because, you know, hubby don't like this, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to just bring that to your attention today. And a shout out to all the supporters of the supporters of R. Kelly. Keep doing your thing. Keep pressing for the higher mark. God got you, baby. Take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye.